So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the 10 best practices for email marketing. So whether you have a brick and mortar store, whether you are using email marketing to sell digital products, physical products, whatever the case may be, you need to follow these best practices in order to get the best results possible, which is profitability, right? Sell more of your products and services. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like or leave a comment. It really helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube and I really appreciate it. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to build your own list. Now, this might be, sound completely obvious to some people. However, there are other people that might be thinking, well, I should purchase a list. I should rent a list. Don't do that. That's going to lead to low quality emails. That's going to lead to spam complaints, and it's not going to give you the results that you want and that you, you desire. You need to instead focus on building your own list, a list that you own through opt-in forms, through incentives, through lead magnets. Now this can be through organic methods or paid media, whatever the case may be, you need to focus on uh, building your own list, a high quality list, not purchasing some list that you don't know who's on the list, who's been sold to, all this information. You need to build your own list. It's gonna lead to the best results. All right, number two is to personalize your emails. So use the recipient's name in the email marketing that you're using and other relevant information to make your emails more personalized, more relevant to the individuals. I think a lot of people make the mistake of looking at an email list, looking at all of the thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of emails on their list and just not really realizing and not focusing on the fact that these are individual people. We need to realize that. And when you realize that and and uh, craft your emails to that individual, it's very, very powerful. All right, number three is to craft mobile-friendly emails. So you need to ensure that your emails are optimized for mobile because more than half of all emails are opened on mobile. So it's important to ensure that our emails are easy to read, easy, easy to navigate on smaller screens. All right, number four is to craft compelling subject lines. All right, so your subject line is the first thing that your subscribers will see. So it's important to really make sure that it's attention grabbing and it's relevant to the content inside. All right, it needs to be relevant. I see a lot of people that maybe they have this clickbaity subject line, but it doesn't match the content. That's going to lead to unsubscribes. That's going to lead to spam complaints. And it's just going to lead to people frustrated that are on your list. You don't want that. You want people to be happy to be on your list. All right, so the number five best practice is to segment your emails. So segmenting your email list will allow you to send targeted messages to specific groups of subscribers. This is gonna result in higher engagement rates, higher conversion rates. So you're gonna segment maybe based on past behavior, whether or not they opened an email uh, that talked about this topic or didn't open an email or clicked on this link or didn't click on that link. You need to segment it to get hyper-focused on what you're doing and who you're targeting within your emails. All right, number six is to use clear call to actions, clear CTAs. So you really need to encourage your subscribers to take action by using clear and compelling CTAs. We need to hold their hand. We need to show them what to do and we need to encourage them to do that. If we have an unclear call to action, it's not going to do that. It's not gonna to lead to the click-through rates that you want within your emails and that's not gonna to lead to the sales. All right, number seven is to test and optimize your emails. So testing different elements of your emails, testing different subject lines, different content, different topics, different call to actions, right? This is what's going to help you to see what's working and what's not working and then figure out what, what is working and do more of that, right? That's going to help you to get where you want faster. All right, number eight best practice of email marketing is to maintain consistency. This is so uh, critical yet it's so overlooked, right? You need to keep a consistent schedule for sending out emails, for ensuring that the content uh, is consistent with your brand and making sure that our emails are going to them in their inbox so that they keep our brand on top of their mind, that we're always in their head, all right? This is something that I'm very guilty of. After a month of sending emails, sometimes I'm like, nah, I don't really need to. And then I wonder why my sales drop, why conversions aren't happening. It's like, you need to consistently 
email them to get repeat business over and over and over again. That's how it works. All right, number nine is to provide value, right? We're not just there to bombard our subscribers, bombard our email list with offers after offer after offer. Buy this, buy this, buy this. We need to provide them value. We need to offer them value, exclusive promotions, you know, uh, in industry insights, helpful tips. This is going to allow us to sell to them a lot more often, a lot easier without them unsubscribing, without them clicking spam, right? We want to land in their e in inbox. And to do that, we need to provide valuable content. We need to do this consistently. All right. And number 10 is to monitor your metrics, right? We need to actually keep track of what is working. We need to keep track of our open rates, our click through rates, our conversion rates, and gain insights into what is actually effective in our strategies and then adjust accordingly, right? If you're not actually paying attention to what's working, then you're just going to be throwing stuff at a wall, hoping it sticks. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.